Um, let me do the screwdriver. There it is. So we're gonna go ahead and take these three screws out. One. Two. Three, and out it comes. No, not quite. Um, the way I've always taken them out, and it's always worked well for me, is I'll take a brass punch, and what I'll do is I'll round off the end so there's no sharp edges there. I want it to be able to insert into here without it actually um, doing any damage. And it's kind of hard to do off-handed like this. I prefer to be up above this, but uh, since we're doing a video here, it's gonna be kind of awkward. So, come like this. Yeah, see? Can't really get a purchase on it. Oh, see, this one's gonna make me look like an idiot on film. There she goes. See that, how she's turning? Once you get her turning, she's gonna come right out. This one's a little bit tougher than the few that these I've done. The ones I, I did up there just basically popped right out, the ones up on the head. So I'm just gonna break this back and forth to make sure she's gonna play nice. It's like she's got years of paint and crud and God knows what up in there. You know, considering it's been around since 1943, who the hell knows? All right, and then I'll get my uh, handy dandy needle nose pliers and see if we can make short order of this. And just like that. And when that comes out, you have uh, this uh, glass frame carrier thing. You'll have a uh, A uh, cork gasket which sits down in there like that the glass sits on top of it then you have another cork gasket sitting here that sits inside of here so that that uh, that glass is sandwiched in there and then you have another cork back here right there so we're gonna take that out we're gonna clean all this up boy we're going to put in a a convex lens out of a uh, out of a magnifier versus the flat glass. So I didn't even bother to clean up the glass. The glass is still dirty. So we'll leave that there. Um, <coughs> gonna, I found when I put these back together, sometimes it helps just to use a little dab of grease in what you do to keep everything uh, together. So it probably helps initially until the cork swells up a little bit to keep the gaskets from uh, leaking as well. I have no proof of that, but I'm just guessing and from doing this for so long this way, I just feel better doing that. So a little bit of grease on there and we'll put our, can I, is this in the frame? Getting that in the, uh, back in here like this, tap that in snug and maybe a little bit more grease on the back side of that don't want to get too crazy on it. it just needs to make a film in here nothing more so, a little bit of grease in there and then our lens make sure that that's clean when it goes in and then our second gasket like that and that sandwiches the the uh, lens in there like that and then the backing gasket and this is what kind of ties it all together like that so we're going to put some uh we put our first screw and i took these screws ran them across the scotch bright and uh it brightens them up a little bit makes them look nicer put that 
that in like that. And I'm going to put just a little bit of grease in there. Someday if this ever has to come apart, you know, a little bit of grease doesn't hurt. I'm sure the oil will work its way in there, but, you know. So I cleaned up those screws with some uh, Scotch-Brite. I think they came out looking pretty good. And we're going to slide this in like this. Just line up the hole. Start to screw in. I'm not going to try to reef these down. I'm just going to start them in. Just lightly bring the screw in a little bit couple threads and then bring the other screws in behind it I don't want to tighten these up yet I want to uh, make sure everything's going nicely before I do that make sure all my threads have caught and that it's going down evenly so. bring it in nice and even And you can feel it cinching up as you go. I'm going to bring it in just about even as you can. And you can feel the torque under the screwdriver head as you go. And you don't want to overdo it. I mean, those, uh, those cork gaskets, they compress a little bit, but they also swell once the uh, oil hits them the oil's been on there for a few days they'll start to swell up and they'll tighten up even more and that's really the the beauty of cork that's why it seems to work so well looks like i got a little grease on there when i was doing that that cleans up all right okay there we go so i got the cap back in we're going to go ahead and oil it up i've already got my plug out it's been out oh hey don't want to do that almost forgot to put the uh plug in the bottom.